Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the English New Album Folk Radio, television stations and newspaper. I'm Hung Kex and now are the headlines as usual. Czech promotion activities boosted. Three in one administrative services available. Vietnam contributed to intra block cooperations at the 55th ASEAN Economic Minister meeting. Bình Thuận hopes to lure more tourists under new visa policy. Ladies and gentlemen, the various Czech promotion activity conducted in Bình Phước province has been improved with a view to maximizing their effectiveness. Specifically, the Provincial People Committee has worked closely with Czech promotion and foreign affairs agency as well as the business community and brought them all together. Bing Phuc's performance in trade promotion was held at a recent meeting of the Provincial People's Committee, which was held to assess the implementation of trade promotion activities in the locality in the first half of 2023. The People's Committee has proactively studied and established links with investors to fully understand their needs. Additionally, the province has coordinated with the media to improve the effectiveness of trade promotion activities. In addition to promoting domestic trade, Bing Phu has also actively participated in such activities abroad. Its efforts have paid off with 12 domestic investment projects with nearly 2,600 billion Vietnam dong licensed in the first half of this year, as well as 13 FDI projects with capital of over $585 million. As of June 14, domestic investment and FDI projects totaled 1218 and 378, respectively, with total capital of over $4 billion. The Benfuk Provincial Commission for Popularization and Education had issued a guideline on requesting party members and developing party organizations in local businesses during the 2023-2030 period. The guideline is a follow-up to Project 9 from the Provincial Party Committee Standing Committees. Under Project 9, Bing Phu expects to recruit at least 30 party members and establish 10 to 15 party units at local industrial parks and economic zones by the end of 2025. The province also tried for 70% of local businesses being eligible to form labor unions. The second phase from 2026 to 2030 is expected to see over 100 party members recruited, 15 to 20 party units established, and over 80% of local firms being eligible to form labor unions. To that end, Project 9 sets out concrete measures, most notably on communications about the roles, functions and benefits of the party units and labor unions at enterprises. Communications efforts are to be deployed in various forms, including word of mouth, newspaper, and social networks, among others. Two three in one administrative services has been available on the National Public Service Portal since July the 1st. They are birth certificate registrations, permanent resident registration, health insurance insurance, and death certificate registration, permanent resident removal, and funeral assistance allowance. These services enable authorities to manage people's personal identification and residency matters. The convenience will also benefit citizens as they were previously required to visit three different addresses to complete each procedure. They had to visit the People's Committee at the common and ward levels for the birth certificate, the local public security office for residence registration, and the Social Security Agency for their insurance. Now they only need to hand in the application and receive the results in one place, either at home or the People's Committee at common or ward level. Under the new 3-in-1 services, when a birth certificate is issued, it will show up in both paper-based and electronic formats. The paper certificate comes with a personal QR code for people's convenience when subsequently conducting other administrative procedures.
Ladies and gentlemen, President Võ Văn Thưởng paid a walking visit to the Mekong Delta province of An Giang on August 19. The President Võ Văn Thưởng paid tribute to President Tôn Đức Thắng in the southern province of An Giang, the home province of the late President, on August 19th, on the occasion of the late leader's 135th birth anniversary, August 20th. During his revolutionary career, in any positions, President Tôn Đức Thắng always set a brilliant example of a true communist and revolutionary morality. He founded the Red Union to meet the urgent need of the fighting movement of the Vietnamese working class in the first decades of the 20th century. He was also a symbol of the southern people in the struggle for national independence, as well as the national building and safeguarding. We have more new coming up. Let's take a look. Minister of Industry and Trade Nguyen Hong Xin is leading a Vietnamese delegation to the 55th ASEAN Economic Minister's Meeting, which officially opened in Semarang, Indonesia, on August 19. The Vietnamese representative gave comments on issues related to intra-ASEAN economic cooperation, such as preparations for the signing of the second protocol amending the agreement on the ASEAN-Australia-New Zealand free trade area, negotiations to upgrade the ASEAN trade in goods agreement, and preparations for the launch of negotiations on the ASEAN digital economy framework. At the meeting, participating ministers exchanged views on recommendations by the high-level task force on ASEAN economic integration related to the building of the post-2025 ASEAN economic community vision and reviewed preparations for the upcoming ASEAN summit and related summits. In addition, the minister also discussed economic cooperation activities between ASEAN and dialogue partners. Vietnam foreign direct investment attraction has seen signs of recovery after continuous declines over the past six months, becoming a rising force for the country's economic growth in the medium and long term. Between January and July, there were around 1,300 newly registered FDI projects with a combined capital of about 8 billion US dollars, up 75% in the number of projects and nearly 40% in capital compared to the same period last year. Vietnam's attractiveness remained in the eyes of international investors, despite a wave of strategic adjustments, as well as a reduction in investment activities, on a global scale, according to experts. It reflects the government's efforts to promote cooperation, support FDI enterprises and improve the investment environment, experts said. They added that the country's participation in many free trade agreements also creates advantages for goods produced in Vietnam, especially when the tax rate has become a strength, helping maintain the country's competitiveness in the race to lure foreign capital. Ladies and gentlemen, effective from August 15th, regular passport holder in certain country will be exempt for visa requirement for stay in Vietnam of 45 days in this of 15 days. Foreign travelers can enter and exit under an e-visa with an unlimited number of time within a 90-day period. This is viewed by Binh Thuong province in particular and Vietnam in general as a golden chain to attract more international visitors. Since COVID-19, Binh Thuong province has faced numerous difficulties in attracting international tourists. In the first half of the year, those visits number grew strongly with 133,000 arrivals, which was still down by some 64% compared to the same period of pre-pandemic 2019. Tourism businesses in the province expect that the new visa policy will help boost the development of the country's tourism industry in the time to come, targeting high-paying, long-stay visitors. Tourism and accommodation businesses in Binh Thuong have told their tourism partners in key markets such as Europe, the U.S., and Asia about the new immigration policy, so they may prepare appropriately. With the new adjustment to the visa policy, along with careful preparation in human resources and services, it is hoped that more international visitors will come to Binh Thuong province. Binh Thuong province attracted some 847,000 more visitors in total during July, 
an increase of nearly 63% over the same period of 2022 during the first seven months of the year. It welcomes more than 5.3 million visitors, up over 82% over the same period last year and reaching 79% of the annual plans. And that is for the editions of BPTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.